the owner of the necklace, the original lady, the the well-to-do wife, she's like, why did you do that? Because uh, that necklace was fake. Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism story is actually a consumerist and luxury story that I want to share with you guys. I actually wanted to share this with you guys last year, but honestly, I just, I didn't have the courage to voice this, so I just kept it to myself. But I think, you know what, like, I can see from my analytics, you guys are a little bit older than you were last year. I mean, obviously, but I think you guys can kind of comprehend. Some of my money videos that used to perform very poorly like my stocks video and my money management videos in previous years you guys were not interested in that but i've seen that this year i guess with the state of affairs maybe some of you have graduated but i see that you guys care about money so today's video is called the pearl necklace the trap of the luxury illusion and this is something that i have personally struggled with and has actually helped me get ahead financially and i figured i could share that with you guys i mean if you guys are already into minimalism that probably means you have some idea that you know being good with your money and not buying into consumerism is probably going to get you ahead so i'm going to share this story with you guys so there's three points to today's video and the timestamps as usual are down below so click around if not then let's get right into the video so the pearl necklace this is an academic french story that um, as a teacher we teach this to children and i think you guys can like probably google a copy of it and this story essentially it was like in olden day france about a lady who i guess gave up her youth to finance pearl necklace that in the very end turned out to be a fake pearl necklace but she didn't know that i think she took out like a massive loan and it took her 40 years to pay it off she paid for it in her blood sweat and tears and her youth and it is actually a very interesting story and i obviously don't want to ruin it for you guys but definitely check it out but if you don't feel like checking it out let me just tell you guys what the story is there's this lady and um she's not poor by any means i think she's like maybe middle class or upper middle class and she marries like a clergyman she's apparently very pretty and she's unhappy with her station in life because she feels like for the amount of beauty that she is she feels like she should be like of the upper echelon so she's always discontent with her life and then one day her husband is invited to like a party that's like an upper class party and she's like super excited to go to it actually she cries in it because she's like what am i gonna wear and the husband was like okay like let's get you a pretty dress so he got her a pretty dress and then she wanted some pretty jewels she happened to have a friend who married well so she went to that friend and asked if she could borrow some jewelry and among the things that she found was this beautiful like pearl necklace she asked her friend if her friend could lend it to her and her friend was like yeah sure borrow it like not not a problem so she lent it to her and the necklace was very expensive i think it was like uh, forty thousand francs so the main protagonist goes and wears it and she's having an amazing time at the ball i think she even dances with the governor or something like that and it's just like a fantastic cinderella type of story obviously the evening ends and the magic is ruined and she realizes she has to go back to living her terrible like i guess life as they're going home she realizes like she's lost the necklace and she tells her husband oh my god like i've lost the necklace like what do we do so they went back try to look for it and they, like, they couldn't find the necklace so she was panicking she's like how am i going to tell my friend that i lost the necklace so they were like okay don't worry let's buy ourselves some time so what they did is they go they went to a jeweler store and then they asked if they could finance it so like the man took out his life savings and is his father's inheritance and they bought the necklace like it, it's such a tragic story and they pretty much they buy the necklace to give back to the friend because well i mean like they lost it and they didn't want to tell her that they lost it so she gives it to her so now the husband and the wife they sell off their like lovely condo or apartment they get rid of all of the maids they take the son out of private school and pretty much they lead like a terrible life paying back the loan on the necklace and so then fast forward 10 years later so the main character she's no longer very pretty and youthful she's like ruined her youth and her beauty i guess working really hard from her cushiony life in the upper middle class she doesn't have that kind of life anymore so she happens to run into her friend 10 years later her friend like completely does not recognize her and then the main character is all like bitter and angry and tells her like because of you <laughs> i had to trade away my youth paying back your necklace and the tragic thing is like there's actually a lot of deeper readings because this is an academic reading there's a lot of things about like is she like is she selfish is she the type of person to keep passing blame around because technically she lost the necklace the owner of the necklace the original lady the the well-to-do wife she's like why did you do that because uh that necklace was fake 
it was a really interesting story like there's a lot of deeper readings to it but the reading that i want to talk about this and this is the second point the second point is that luxury is both reality and an illusion so this story does a really good job of illustrating that both luxury exists in the mind of the person like it existed in the mind of the main character just like as it existed or did not exist in the mind of the upper class lady so the well-to-do wife she knew better than to park her cash in trash so what does she do she just buys a fake pearl necklace like who cares like she's always going to fancy parties she's not going to invest money in an expensive necklace you could lose it is what happened to the other character versus luxury is also an illusion which is really unfortunate because the necklace for all intents and purposes was real to the main character while she was at the party but it really came crashing down on her like the consequences of her losing the necklace was was reality she had to pretty much downgrade her life to be able to pay back the massive loan on the pearl necklace because because like in the end it was like was it was it really worth it and so that actually brings me to the third point and i think this is the more important point is being aware of it and chasing this uh, illusion of luxury is that i'm not here telling anybody you know as a minimalist you shouldn't indulge in luxury as you guys can see i do enjoy partaking in luxury purchases but the key thing to take away from this is don't harm yourself chasing luxury. I think that being self-aware is half the game. It is an illusion. It is both a reality and illusion and asking yourself what is the price that you're willing to pay to partake in this. So I think that luxury is a, as a little pamper that doesn't harm you and isn't financially taxing can be something enjoyable but I don't think that harming yourself or some of the crazy things that people do on social media to uphold this luxury illusion whether or not they may or may not be able to afford it is really dangerous because not only is it hurting them it's also hurting the viewers. It's like it's propagating this illusion that luxury is something fantastic when maybe as you guys you guys definitely probably heard those social media stories where people go into debt trying to maintain that Instagram type of lifestyle when like you see they lead a certain life but maybe you don't see that they missed a payment on their car or on their mortgage so I think what I wanted to share it with this ideology is this, the pearl necklace the trap of the luxury illusion is that you should be responsible with your luxury purchases I don't want to ever sit here and tell anybody don't do this don't do that that is not the point of my minimalism channel I think my minimalism channel here is, is to empower you and make you aware and ultimately the decision is your own but I, I like to share my experience and my thoughts because I feel like for me you guys seem to really like the thought process that I have towards minimalism I've been through a lot of the more typical minimalism aspects which is like the decluttering and the no brand wearing like I've been through that already and now I feel like I'm further along down the line that I can offer up a different take where if you do want to buy those things I think it's perfectly okay it doesn't make you a bad minimalist but at the same time I think it's important to be aware that like it's just an illusion so to kind of put that in more practical terms like a lot of the brand name stuff that we buy and why a lot of minimalists are like anti-brand and don't buy that and don't buy this is because take like LV like an LV product is just made of canvas but it's the status symbol associated with it but it's just a bag at the end of the day this bag works and that bag works so like what's all the same right but yes and no right as I've mentioned illusion is both reality and an illusion right it holds value in the mind of the person even though maybe technically speaking it only costs like five dollars to make the bag in a Chinese factory right so what I'm trying to say is that just be aware if you choose to partake in it then do it such that you can enjoy yourself and never harm yourself that is all i ever want from my cobra babies i don't want to tell you guys no i don't want you to live with a scarcity mindset i want you to live in a world of abundance where whatever it is that you want you can have but at the same time be aware that you shouldn't be the one paying the price to pursue luxury so yeah i hope that this video gave you some food for thought and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye